Bing, the search engine that everyone knows but no one uses. But in recent times, Bing has been making a quite a progress and I think it's time we recognize that. But does Bing has all that needed to compete with Google? Looks like the answer is yes. Bing is on the verge of bringing in revolution that can transform the way search engines work and stay tuned till the end to know the full story. It all started with MSN. Microsoft originally launched MSN Search in the third quarter of 1998. With some upgrades, Microsoft launched Windows Live Search on September 11th, 2006, replacing MSN Search. At this point, Windows Search Engine was part of Windows Live Services. Windows Live was the brand name for set of services and software products offered by Microsoft. On March 21, 2007, Microsoft announced that it would separate its Search Engine business from the Windows Live Services family. rebranding the services as live search live search was then headed by satya nadella who as you all know is the ceo of microsoft now even after series of modification search engine was not able to pick up microsoft had to discontinue many services it was offering under live search like live search books and live search academic so as an effort to create a new identity for microsoft search services live search was officially replaced by bing on june 3 2009 and that's how bing was born Bing has gone through significant changes since its launch in 2009. Microsoft entered into agreements with various companies to increase the search traffic on Bing. In July 2009, Microsoft and Yahoo announced a deal in which Bing would power Yahoo Search. Not just that, Bing had exclusive agreements with other search engines like DuckDuckGo, AOL, and Lycos to use Bing as their search engine. But Bing was still an unpopular search engine. In fact, Microsoft was losing 1 billion dollars every quarter on Bing, and they even had a plan to scrap it. But Bing became profitable in 2015, having exclusive deals helped. Along with these deals, Microsoft had an advantage through Windows. You see, majority of the PCs and laptops come with Windows operating system, and the default browser was Internet Explorer, and in that default search engine was Bing. All this should have helped Bing and given it a competitive advantage. But we all know where it stands. Google controls more than 91% of the searches online. Google is synonymous with asking questions. When we are in doubt, we say just Google it. While Bing has just 3.3% of the market and it is the second largest search engine. The gap between the top one player and the second player is too much and it is literally a monopoly. So, is Bing a failed search engine which is surviving just because of its backing from Microsoft? We'll get to that in a moment, but before that, let's understand how search engines work and how they make money. Search engines use something called as web crawlers, which is a piece of code, the main job of which is to go into each and every web page on internet and create a library of information about every web page. This library is called index. When a user searches for something, for example, when I search about five ways to lose belly fat on Google, Google checks with its library and gives me a list of pages which it thinks can give most appropriate answer. That sounds good, but how do search engines make money? They make money through ads. You see, when you search for something, Google gives you thousands of results, but most of the times people click on the results in a first page and that to top 3 to 4 searches. This is the spot where websites want to be. If they can come up in the first page, there is a high chance that people will visit their website, and it is possible. Companies can pay Google to show their website in the top when a related search happens. Not just that, you must have seen ads while browsing through the websites. Even those ads are controlled by search engines. Not literally, but you can call search engines as digital ad agency. This is the business model which Google, Bing, or any other search engine follows. If more people are using your search engine, more revenue you will earn. Google's market share is 91.43%, whereas Bing's market share is 3.3%. In the financial year 2022, Google earned 180.6 billion dollars in ad revenue just from Google search, whereas Microsoft revenue from Bing search engine was 11.59 billion. Not bad for a company with 3.3% market share. Not just that, Bing is growing rapidly as you can see here. An interesting trend is that Bing is gaining market share over desktop users whereas Google is losing it. This chart shows how Bing is gaining market share. Majority of the users for Bing are on desktop. All that is fine but Bing is still the smallest search engine. Where is the competition here? Search engine market is a monopoly controlled by Google. 
for Bing to compete with Google, a miracle needs to happen and it looks like that miracle is happening right now in the form of ChatGPT. If you haven't heard about ChatGPT, you are living under a rock. ChatGPT is a chatbot developed by a company called OpenAI. So, what is so special about ChatGPT? It is the most advanced chatbot available today. Let's simplify it. Imagine ChatGPT as a robot and you feed this robot with all the information available on internet. And at the same time, this robot is powered by artificial intelligence. Which means it will not just read the data, but also learn from it, just like humans. It has the capacity to recognize patterns, give suggestions, and it has its own personality. You can ask anything to ChatGPT. It will give you a convincing answer. ChatGPT sounds great, but what it has to do with Bing, you might ask. You see, there is a problem with today's search engines. For example, you go to Google and ask a question. What are the best televisions under 25,000 rupees? Google will give a list of all the pages which has the possible answers and we have to click on each page to find out the answer. In the end, we may or may not find the best answer. But ChatGPT solves this problem. You can ask ChatGPT the same question. It will search over the internet and give you the list of best TVs under 25,000 rupees without us going through each and every page. It doesn't stop there. Let's say I want to know how many of these TVs listed above have Dolby Atmos sound system. I will get an immediate answer for that as well. ChatGPT got 100 million users in just 2 months. For comparison, it took Instagram 2.5 years, Google 1 year and TikTok 9 months to hit that number. It also shows how excited people are for this new technology. This is just an example, ChatGPT can do wonders. It can give customized results tailor-made just for you. Search becomes more personalized. And the best part here is that Microsoft is one of the investors in OpenAI, the company that made ChatGPT. And Microsoft has an exclusive partnership with OpenAI to use ChatGPT in its search engine. The groundbreaking announcement came on 7th February when Microsoft announced that the new Bing is powered by next generation ChatGPT, which has been specifically customized for search purposes. Microsoft even claimed that it is more powerful than the current ChatGPT model. In simple words, ChatGPT's upgraded version will be used as Bing search engine and this can be a game changer. This can totally redefine the way search engines work. This is so groundbreaking that even Google tried to replicate this model by using its AI model BART, but it failed to give correct answer during its demonstration, which costed Google $100 billion in market value. Whereas the new Bing got 1 million users in its waitlist in just 48 hours, and that number must have gone higher by now. In the rapidly changing technology space, the tide may turn at any time. See, I am not saying that Google is losing and Bing is winning. In fact, if Google can improve its AI and come up with version just like ChatGPT, it will be even easier for them to push this AI feature on their search engine given their large user base. But Microsoft and OpenAI should be appreciated for bringing in this groundbreaking change and ChatGPT is still in its early stages. I am sure that the new Bing powered by ChatGPT will redefine the way we search and brings us one more step closer to artificial intelligence.